Welcome back, Pineheads, to Mr. Pineapple's Wonder Hour. We've been away for a month, maybe? Uh, around, around that, I believe. Yeah, um, most of the Pineheads know why, because I put a, uh, a post on the social medias. Um, my uh, my mum sadly passed away on the 2nd of June, and prior to that she'd been in hospital for a couple of weeks as well. Um, so I think it's it's just been over a month, I think. And to be honest, it's all been a blur to me. It it still feels like one big horrible dream. Understandable. Um, yeah. I know uh, I know it hasn't hit hit me fully yet. I've had to be there for my family and arranging the funeral and stuff. And you know, at twenty three you don't think you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna be doing that shit. But uh yeah. So it's been it's been pretty shit, but you know we had we had a funeral for the other day. Don't even know when when was it? Twenty fifth. Yeah, it was two days ago. Two days ago, which was weirdly really nice. You know, everyone was wearing colourful clothes and flowers. They were. Apart from you, you cunt. <laughs> but no, that that made me laugh. So it made you laugh, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, GD was wearing a very inappropriate top as well. Uh, Lizards were fucking on his t-shirt. He he just didn't realise, did he, bless him? No. And, <laughs> you know, Pants Bastard was full hype in the place, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, just an over, overwhelming amount of support coming from, you know, fans of the podcast and close friends and family and stuff. Um, she affected a lot of people, you know? We... No, school that she worked for they've clo- they closed the school down on the day which is a massive thing was she they, a teacher she was like everything in the school yeah she started off as a, a dinner lady and then she was a cleaner and a dinner lady and she was a reaper graphics person and then like it's like uh like special education kind of stuff as well and then she was finally a teaching assistant, but she didn't quit any of the other jobs. <laughs> so right. she kind of made a full-time job out of loads of part-time jobs. She just lived at that school, basically. And, you know, my daughter goes to that school as well. So it's, you know, it's still hard dropping her off at school every day. Um, but did you, go, did you go to that school? I did go to that school. Was your mum there at the same time? She was, yeah. Did you get special treatment? Not really. Oh, she liked dickhead. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but no, uh, yeah, 62 she was. No age, really, but just got to cherish her memories and sure. stuff. I um, uh, sadly never got to meet her because the podcast has been during the fucking pandemic, pandemic yeah. Pandemic and stuff, but... She was... Been- she was a big supporter of the podcast, though, as well. Like anything I did creatively, she was like, go on, do it. Even though it, it might not lead to anything, she was always, she would not really want to kind of crush your, <laughs> crush your dreams, as some parents do, I guess. Um, but yeah, she'll be sadly missed by many people. I mean, the school's just been crazy, you know, closing the school. The, when... We was in the cars going to the funeral. We drove past the school and there was loads of parents outside the school clapping and stuff. And it was really nice. You know, they had um, they put like uh, pictures of butterflies up, which I've like writing on from all the students. And it's across all the gate of the school. <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, she affected loads of people. Like even when I went to pick up the flowers to wear on our suits the person that were florist were like florist and was like oh i didn't i didn't realize the last name yeah i knew her and i was like what but yeah it's just it's really sad but i know she'd want me to carry on everything i was doing and get on with it <laughs> but yeah judith what a what a gal so g <laughs> but yeah just thought i'd open with that because obviously we've been we've been off for quite a while and you know i don't want to hide anything from the podcast it's a space to be open about shit but yeah cool stuff 
She's going in the Hall of Fame, that's for fucking sure. I'd already planned on doing it, and now you've <laughs> just ruined it. <laughs> now you've just, you've just ruined it, Tony. <laughs> that's it, she's not going in now. I have decided. <laughs> Executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> The Hall um, of Fame is a no Judith zone from this day forth. Any, any Judith. Just, any Judith. Just yeah. that name. <laughs> All Judiths are off the table. <laughs> um, no, but we're doing a we're doing a live stream as well. A twenty-four hour gaming live stream Twitch. to raise money. Yeah, on Twitch to raise money for British Heart Foundation. She really loved that charity. Apparently, according to my dad. Um, yeah, and it was a it's like a heart related thing that she uh, she died of sadly. Um, runs in a family, kind of. They've all like a dad. A dad died of a uh, a heart attack in his sleep, and a mum had a triple heart bypass. So I should probably get myself checked out. <laughs> Gotta eat those heart healthy foods, mate. Mm, pizza. Less less <laughs> of that two pizzas in a row <laughs> thing. Yeah. So you joined up finishing your pizza? No, nah, I just chucked it in bin. Chucked it. Mm. I think they were way too, we had too much cheese. We shouldn't have had like cheese <laughs> on and pizza. And I had cheesy chips as well. Oh yeah, you went the full trifecta. I'm a mad lad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I need to start, I need to start eating healthier. And just, like this past month I've just been terrible, obviously. Understandable. I've been for, Understandable. Fuck it. Understandable. No, I, I slept in the hospital. In a doctor's on call room for like three nights in a row, which was just weird. You now they're really nice to us though at the um, intensive care unit. They uh, they put a bed next to her bed for my dad to sleep in as well, which was really nice. And you know we're kind of weirdly lucky that we got the time with her to say goodbye and that, because if it just happened instantly, it'd just be like, well, fuck shit. <laughs> I mean it. It kind of did, but then we did get a good week, two week with her. So it was weirdly nice um, and healing. Uh, but yeah, crazy. Not fun. Shall we get on with the podcast? <laughs> shall we? Shall we do it? Yeah. Um, yeah. I should just want to add, um, the info and stuff and details for the live stream will be posted all over the socials whenever we've got them uh, yeah. laid out properly. Because so- we... We want to make it a proper, like, scheduled yes. thing and organised instead of going... Oh, they're, they're everywhere today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of just going, we're doing this, and then get to it, and we're like, oh, what should we do then? Um, but, yeah. That was real, Tony the Pony. Let's get on to... <laughs> Let's get on to this podcast, shall we? Um, no hairy pineapple, because, you yeah. know, fuck, yeah. fuck life. Um, um, yeah. Plus, it was a very impromptu decision to. Uh, yeah, sort I thought. So. I thought if I just keep it, like keep not wanting to do it, I'm just gonna probably fall out of love with it. So I thought, just just get on with it, man. Let's do it. Um, trailers, small pineapples. That's yes. the thing that we do on here. We do do yeah, this. This episode is probably gonna be a lot shorter than the other ones because our big pineapple isn't great. <laughs> but you know we've missed the are you out. telling me the big pineapple that we prepared lovingly at gone one o'clock in the morning <laughs> this morning 12, 12 hours ago <laughs> where i made zero notes are you telling me that that's gonna be piss poor <laughs> i am yeah mate right right um <laughs> yeah then we've missed out on a month of trailers and news which you'd think would have a massive list but fuck that <laughs> we've, we've got the sort of big uh big boys big there you know um the trailers are arranged in an order but the news isn't so, right uh, fuck them let's do this shit shall we trailers let's start off with the big boy shall we shang chi and the legend of the ten rings Got its actual proper trailer because the first one was a teaser, was it? That was not a teaser. That was a long teaser. Yeah, I know, but we called it a teaser. It was the same one as this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. It was in the, uh, what was it, like a Disney Expo thing, was it? Mm-hmm. See, when they showed off Eternals as well. And 
but yeah, we got we got some more cool looking stuff. I'm I'm actually looking forward to this. I like the look of it. It looks like a a breath of fresh air. I know. I'm, I am I am incredibly marbled out, but oh kung, yeah, kung fu, kung fu. It, I'm, no, I'm, I'm there. there. I'm there. You know, I can't help it. And you know, the big reveal of this trailer is abomination. At the end, he's fighting Wong in a fucking tournament esque setting. MMA arena y type. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get these big boys in this tight space. Yeah, so he don't he don't look as big. Yeah, I don't I think they've shrunk him down a bit. Um I'm still upset with the way he looks, but that's just me. Yeah, but I've, I've only had that hatred for thirteen years now. It's <laughs> fine. It's they fine. they couldn't change him now, could they? They no. could. What I'm excited about is Tim Roth is probably going to be in it. Uh, Tim Roth's just a so. I hope so. And, you know, it's a weird it's a weird film to slip Abomination it's, into. It's odd. It's odd. But I guess, because they, they thought about doing it in Endgame, didn't they? Yeah. I, I guess they had plans to bring him back at some point. Yeah. Kind of like, I mean, when she all out. Do you think it's going to sell She-Hulk a little bit? Maybe. Maybe we see the leader. Oh, mate, don't know. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's all the fans have been jonesing for, mate. That one mm. specific thing. All the fans. Everyone. <laughs> not just me. Just give me the leader. I like the uh, the cool set piece on the scaffolding bit. Yeah, I like was... scaffolding fights. It just looks it looks cool. Um, And I hope it's not shit. <laughs> it probably will be, right? Yeah. But... As long as the action's good, if they mm. get the action right and don't make it America, which it's going to be chopped up to shit. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> but if they get the action right, because I know they've got a decent lad on doing mm. the, the stunts and the fighting and the whatnot. Yeah. But they've also got Hollywood editors. Yeah, they've also got the Disney. Yeah. Oh, well, not famously known for their. <laughs> Kung Fu fight scenes. So, who knows? Who knows? What do you think about the Ten Rings being arm bracelets yeah, instead not, of rings? Not a fan of that. But no, he's less big, weird sorcery Mandarin into a more evil businessman with arm bracelets. But I like Shang Chi's costume at the end. Mm. I mean, I think it did show us a lot, maybe too much. I think all these trailers showed us too much, to be honest. If I'm being completely honest, yeah. Yeah, but some of these trailers have been films that have been done for <laughs> for a good year. Yeah. So, um, was there a cheeky dragon in the? Uh, the, the yeah. Is now, that, is that going to be? Fing Fang Foom. Is it going to be him or? I don't think so, because we got news that he weren't going to be in the film, didn't we? And that there was going to be another kind of spirit thing because they there was that funko pop that got released saying the last guardian or something right and it was like a water dragon so i'm guessing it's just that i don't like that no I just put like thing fang film in it yeah he's probably sequel bait though isn't he? <laughs> but when's it coming out it's coming out soon isn't it it's this year right later this year yeah there's four coming out this year the Black Widow, this yeah. Eternals, Spider Man. Mm. That's many. Yeah. Oh, I fucking marvel. You're, oh, you're going to make me watch them all. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let's move on. Halloween Kills showed us a lot, didn't it? I like the look of this. Oh, yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? I've not seen the new the one prior. You need to see it. It's just Jamie Lee Curtis kicking fucking ass. I love Jamie Lee Curtis. She can do no wrong in my eyes. Um, and she gets the tits out in uh, Trading Places mm. from 1983. It does look like they're leaning into the more demon, weird, spiritual side of Michael Myers. Um, yeah. Yes. When she says about how when he kills people, he gets stronger and stuff. Essentially, essentially yeah. And I'm... Weren't that the stuff that the fans didn't like? Yeah, but fans are fucking shit, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> have you seen all the OG Halloween films? No. Which ones have you seen? First one. Just the first one? I think so. You, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's the best one. 
but um, yeah. there's um, uh, Halloween Free. Are you familiar with Halloween Free? Is that one where it's like the spawn of Satan or something? No, it's the one that's not got Michael Myers or it's not no to do with any of it. Why? I don't, don't fucking ask me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it about? Uh, it's like about a fucking demon toy maker or some shit, from what I remember. But there's some masks in this trailer that look like they're tied to that film. Oh. Um, so maybe we're going to have a bit of a synergy. <laughs> um, what I like about this is they're hunting down uh, Mr. Myers shape, yeah. Instead of him hunting them, I like that. It's cool, isn't it? I, mostly, I just like Jamie Lee Curtis being a badass, right? Getting a group of other people that and aren't badasses. Just like, yeah, I got stabbed, but I'm gonna fuck him up. Yes, yeah. in a bit, daughter. I'm having him. The daughter's pretty cool in the first one, to be fair. Yeah. Like, they're not stupid, which is good. Uh, it's a brutal trailer as well. There's a lot of deaths in this. Mm. Yeah. Too much. But it has been done for a year. <laughs> so I was sitting on footage where they're just like, I want to show people this. So like the the bit at the end of the trailer where he's got his mask. And she's like, come and get your mask, bitch. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have showed us that. I'm, I'm, ex- I'm probably going to watch this. Oh, yeah, I'll still watch it. And I don't watch horror films. Shut up. What do you mean, shut up? I mean, shut up. I do not watch horror films. We're going to review this one. But I like, I'm, I will watch this. Yeah. Next trailer. Last Night in Soho. Yes. Edgar Wright. Maker of films. Filmer of things. Matt Smith. Simon Pegg. He's not in it, but he's in many of his other films. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anna Taylor-Joy. And another lady whose name I didn't get. Yeah. <laughs> What are your thoughts? What are your feelings? I like the look of the film. Mm. He makes a stylish film, does Edgar? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Um, I didn't like how it's to do with ghosts, though. I like is, is it this... to do with ghosts, though? I think she's just going to be asleep in that bed when she pulls cover over her head, but that's just me. <laughs> um, but I like the weird neon noir kind of vibe. But then I didn't like the ghosts, but would you have preferred it not to have gone down the sort of horror I don't. I don't mind it having that twist, but in the trailer I was like, oh, because it took a very left turn from what it was showing. Because hmm. I like all the weird stuff with like the mirror trickery and like Matt Smith maybe being like a serial killer who kills women. That's what I got from his character. But then, you know, ghosts. He looks that. like a serial killer. Yeah, he does. Just he? in real life. Yeah. Straight, straight, up, straight up. Do you know who was supposed to be in Star Wars? Uh, playing a serial killer. Playing one of Palpatine's clones, mate. Oh. And then it didn't happen, because, you know, that I've last film's I've terrible. I've not seen <laughs> um, But, yeah, it, look, it looks... I'll watch it. I'll watch it, because I'm a big Edgar Wright fan. What do, you, what do you think? You're the Edgar Wright fan. You're also an Edgar Wright fan. I like Spaced. You're an old school Edgar Wright fan. <laughs> you like him in the 90s is what I'm hearing there. Yeah. I'm excited to see him go down, because this looks, obviously he's made horror before, Shaun of the Dead, but obviously that's comedy, yeah. you know, yeah. more, more, more in the comedy room. So I'm excited to see him go like, it's not it's not even straight out horror, is it? It's going to be some weird psychological shit. Yeah. It's because she's gone to uni or something, right, in London. Yeah. She's having a bit of a breakdown, perhaps. It's all in her head. I, I, I think she's not fitting in, is she, with the crowd. Yeah. So then, you know, she dreams about having this for life in the, the olden times. I think that's what it's going to be all about. And then she gets sucked into that weird past world and she's like, what? Five, I believe. Because I'm sure that's when Thunderball was out, right? Sean Connery. Yep. Thunderball. Don't sing that song. What? Tom Jones, mate, he's some fun to <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just eating a fizzy fish, mate. Eating a fizzy fish, mate. That mm. is not heart healthy food, mate. <laughs> I know, I know. This is. It's an apple. You fruit fuck. Kids in a minute who are making noise outside. <laughs> <laughs> but no, are you excited? Yeah, because he's not made a film in four years, mate. That's not that long. It is. Film. When his last film had everyone's favourite. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Is that Kevin Spacey's last film? 
No, mate, he's been cast in a new film, hasn't he? I know, I know he has. That's but not in our news. What are we was, doing? I was going to include it, but then I thought, well, people want to hear about Kevin Spacey being in this film, perhaps by Franco Nero. I do. Fucking stick it in then, lad. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about it now, aren't we? But no, I'm excited for it. Yeah? It's been in the pipeline for quite some time, um, so I'm excited to see what happens. Mm. Next trailer, Candyman, trailer two. Your this looked good before, it looks good now. I mean, it didn't really show us much more of what we already saw. It just kind of gave the confirmation of the main guy is going to turn into Candyman. He'll be possessed by Candyman. He's going to get a hook hand and fuck people up. Looks good, though. I like the little um, shadow puppet stuff. Yeah. That's pretty like explaining Candyman's backstory. Mm. Shouldn't hand sweets out to kids. It can only end bad. Probable nonce. Hmm. Nonce or killer. Pick one. But yeah, it's coming out soon. Maybe. Do yeah, you have a release date on it? Halloween time, I'd assume. October yeah. sometime. Yeah. Next trailer. Demonic. Inception, but video games. That's what I got. Yeah, long camp. <laughs> VR gone wrong. Demons. Demons. Is that all we're saying about? That's all we can kid. say, innit? I'm gonna punch a kid. Are you gonna fuck a kid? I'm gonna punch a kid. Demonic, mate. What do you think? Neil Blomkamp. What has he done? Films. Like? Everyone's favourite film, Chappie. Chappie? What's Chappie? It's a shit film. Oh. Well, that's what Chappie is. He did District 9, of course. Oh, mate. And that's good. Cool. Elysium. That's a film. I liked Elysium. Not good. I've got the making of art book, mate. I know you've got the making of art book with it. I love him. <laughs> He's great. Oh, it's not this good is film. very... Pretty film. Um, it's not very different for him, is it? It's a bit different, though. He's not done a horror film yet. He's meant to do that. Alien 5, but... He was meant to do Alien 5? Yeah, it's been in, in the works for a lot. It's been in development Alpha for... <laughs> since um, District fucking 9 came out. It wouldn't be a bad shout for it, though, would it? Yeah. Instead of Ridley Scott. Um, but yeah, it it don't look good. <laughs> say it right now. Do you think it looks good? Yeah, I'll watch it probably. But... Yeah, you probably will. Yeah. One thing you will watch though, Sing Two. What did you think? Did you think because Pants Bastard slash his other names, um, the analyst and that other one, Peebs, uh, said that you're going to be disappointed and that it's going to be shit. Is he right? I like the look of the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. But again, shows too much. Oh, yeah, everything. It's like yeah. a four minute fucking trailer. Shows all film, doesn't it? I don't need to go to cinema to watch it. Which yeah. I was never going to do anyway. I don't like people. Why did they show the old lion, man? Like, Why did they show most of it? Yeah. Taron can sing, though, can't he? One thing I did like about it no mouse come from the first film. Mouse You've seen, the, you've seen the first film, right? Yeah. You know, little like mouse. Sings my way. Oh right, yeah. Don't get come up. I, th- I thought you was on about the main guy. That's a koala. Holy shit, it is, isn't it? <laughs> or a really big mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Why do Illumination <laughs> like System of a Down so much? That's what I want to know. A great band. <laughs> in this trailer, it was in the trailer for that one about pets. System of a Down's getting some good dosh. You know what I mean? I'm a big fan of seeing, right? Yeah. I've seen it a few times, let's say. Mm. What pick? <laughs> Did you like how the pick was wearing a pineapple? Oh, yeah, jacket? that was my favourite part, yeah. yeah. Instant, best sequel ever made. <laughs> no. That's Shrek. You were there too. Or Shrek the third, yeah. Oh, I'm going to slap you. <laughs> but yeah, seeing it shows way too much. Um, but it was I'm good. Gonna, I'm going to watch the shit out of it. Yeah. Yes, first day. First day it comes out. First day it comes out? Yeah. I might take it to the cinema to see it. When's it coming out? What did it say? Fuck oh, no, mate. Coming. Yeah, that's what I was doing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about pigs, though. There's a trailer called Pig, isn't there? I'm going to say Nicolas Cage's acting seems good. Nicolas this. Cage is fucking awesome. Have you seen Mud? No. Why would I have seen Mud? Because he's in that. I've heard of him. But he's good in that, and he plays 
a guy in woods and that. So I think you just cast him as a guy in a wood and then he does good. Wood right. goods, rhymes. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell everyone what's about then. Uh guy loses pig, John Wick, chef. Mm. Has to return to his old life, doesn't he? Yeah. Chef in the big city. I do like how he's like throwing the butter on the steak in the pan. I'm like, oh, that reminds me of Master Chef. You don't even eat meat. No. I like watching cook it though. Satisfying. Um but yeah. Is it gonna end with a blood blood gory what's the what's the word? Blood bath. Blood bath, that's one. Blood bath, blood fest. It's just it, it it's the thing called John Wick syndrome, right? Mm. Which we'll get onto in a in, in a second. <laughs> in a second, yeah. John Wick's John, John Wick's great, right? Mm. Every other film is uh, John Wick clown now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, Any action film. Some are better than others. This looks really good. It, cool. it, this looks more like it's gotten a more emotional gravitas than the others. Also, cool. So is, now, is there any action in the trailer? I can't remember. I watched it like um, a second ago. The only action is him sort of getting knocked out kind of thing when the pig gets taken. Oh, yeah. Well, that sort of blinking, you miss it kind of mm. thing. So, you know, it might not be a full John Wick clone. There might not be any action in it. It might just be him in a drama about his missing pig. Babe, too. Until the last five minutes when he gets loads of guns and just kills everyone. The pig is actually a trained assassin in a former life. Mate. <laughs> and just voiced by Jackie Chan. Obviously. And then the, when he dons his pineapple jacket, right, <laughs> <laughs> he's when he becomes Pigman. Pigman, yeah. And last trailer, Gunpowder Milkshake. Karen is John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> also, Men vs. Women. It's just another John Wick clown. I don't know what to say, mate. Um, I will be all over this shit for a couple of reasons. Hmm. Those couple of reasons being Michelle and Yo. Because she's my <laughs> well, also, Hedley, though. My girl Angela Bassett's in it. Mm. And my other girl Carl Gugino's in it. Mm. The action looks like it could be fun. It looks colourful and bright. Pass a couple of hours if you're free on a Saturday evening, you know. Yeah. And little kids like, are you a serial killer? We address that. Haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just looks like another good action film, doesn't it? It's Maybe Netflix, good. It's a Netflix one, this as well. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Their track record's not the greatest. And it's just makes so, isn't it? Because they just release everything. So, <laughs> they had Extraction, which is supposed to be good. I've not seen that, but there's some, I've seen bits of action in it, from mm. it, that look pretty good. Yeah. And I've seen the last uh, 15 minutes. Nice. <laughs> so I don't need to watch the rest of it. No. But yeah, yeah they're, they're the trailers. Do you want to talk any more about Gunpowder Milkshake? Or... Um, if you're a big fan of Michelle Yeoh, um, watch her Chinese stuff. Nice. Let's get on to the news. <laughs> um, like I say, this isn't ordered, so there's no big, big one that I want to start off with. Fuck it. Supernatural is getting a spin off. Yeah. Which about the cool. Winchesters. Who are his family? I don't fucking know. I never watched it. I've seen season one. Yeah. So it's going to be about Jeffrey Dean Morgan. It's set in uh, the 70s, I think. So I don't know if he'll be in it. Or it would see, he'd be like fucking five or something at that point. I don't know. It's like about some of them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, uh, and the thing is, voice in narrating it, isn't it? Jensen. Yeah, he's involved, and the other Winchester was like, well, it would have been nice to know this were a thing. That's oh, he didn't know. All on, all on Twitter and stuff, yeah. Oh. That's fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't really care for Supernatural. I feel yeah. like it went on I, way yeah. too long. Yeah, I only included it because I like beef between people. And I was like, yeah, let's talk yeah. about the beef. He's, um, they've officially released his... Soldier Boy look as well for the boys season three. I thought you were on about the the music star then. <laughs> what? what? Soldier Boy in it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but 
Michael Keaton has been photographed on the set of The Flash. Playing Alfred again. Yeah. Really good as Alfred. <laughs> But yeah, he uh, he just looks like he did in the first one, but with white hair instead of black hair. He's got hair though. Because he's weird. old. Yeah, he's like getting into a really nice car, and he's like, "I'm Bruce Wayne, mate." Yep. E three happened. Shit, was not it? Yeah. I, I barely watched. I barely watched any of it, mate. Well, no point it was, anymore. It was just Microsoft going. <clears throat> We've got Bethesda, and then Bethesda going, we're not going to show the game everyone wants us to show. So, you know, <laughs> as you do. And yeah. then them going, every Bethesda game from now is going to be Xbox exclusive. Sorry, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Rip Doom. Uh... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, well, there's a couple of good trailers, though. Mostly yeah. Evil, Evil Dead. Dead. Got its gameplay trailer. And it looked, the game looks very pretty. Yeah. I'm going to be sure. I'm going to be Um I'm sh- still not sure what it's. I feel like it's going to be like Left 4 Dead, but also like Dead by Daylight. Not Dead by Daylight, that of all. Is it Dead by Daylight? It is, isn't it? The yeah. one where you play as four people and then someone plays as the enemy, yeah. Looks like that because you can Dead, take Dead, control Dead of the. Yeah. I'm excited. For, I'm a big Evil Dead fan, in case people didn't know. I, I really need to watch it because I saw the characters in this trailer and I was like, they look interesting. If you need to borrow them, I own them all. We should have just a night together, you know. To watch all the four films mm. and the three seasons of Ash vs. the Evil Dead and play through Evil Dead, the PS2 game. Right. <laughs> There's Color Boomstick and the other one. Yeah. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. You aren't a fan. Fuck you. Um, what else got? The, the Guardians of the Galaxy game from Square Enix got re- revealed. It looks a lot better than the Avengers game. I like the fact that in the the thing they had to state that it was uh, like a single player story. Like, yeah, yeah it's not. It's not Avengers. story driven. Single player. It's not. It's not like Avengers. Please buy it, <laughs> please. But yeah, it, 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 I thought it looked pretty cool. To be fair, it's got the gameplay kind of looks like um, Final Fantasy VII remake gameplay, but more hands on. There like was some, you can do there's dialogue trees, isn't there? Yeah. Stuff. Which, you know, games with them, it don't really change the story, it only changes little bits. But it looks more like for the building of the the relationships of the guardians and most of it's just gonna be for humour effect. Um but it looks it looks pretty cool. I like the design of all the characters to be fair. Judge Fudge was like, Star Lord looks too cool and that's a bad thing. Because he should look more nerdy, and I'm like, mate, Star Lord's only a prick because Chris Pratt made him a prick. <laughs> He's not like that in the comics. He's a cool fucking bounty hunter guy. But yeah, um, and Drax looks like he does in the comics, so it looks I like it. Hopefully, he's not shit. Yeah, he don't look shit. He looks destroyery. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks cool. I'll be getting this one. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'll be buying this one. When they and then when you find out they've lied to you and it's not single. <laughs> like oh man, I do like how they've just made a decision to make it your your Star Lord. This isn't going to be a co-op game. Mm. Um, they could have gone either way with it, I guess. But yeah. is it going to be um tactical style thing? You play Star Lord, but you tell the others. Yeah. Go, so, dude, in this. Final Fantasy, you play as. Cloud, but you can swap to the others, but you mostly just play as Cloud and then tap like R2 and Triangle to make them do their moves and stuff. Okay. So it, it looks a lot like that, but it just looks like a funner version. Like, yeah, it'll be it'll be a hard game, I, I think, because it's all tactical and Square Enix don't like to make beat em ups and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, um, I they think made, that's they made the Avengers. Yeah, they did. That's a bad game. Mm, I it is. a little bit. It made me sad. Yeah. What else? Is that you it? Sent me, you sent me a bunch of trailers of games for E3. Oh yeah, there was a lot of indie games. You sent me some good stuff. Um, Ollie Ollie World was one. Uh, there was another Bat Bird one, Escape Bird thing. You just picked um, some things that you know I'd like. Yeah, I did. Uh, the Kung Fu one that we 
talked about before, got its gameplay trailer, and it looks good. Yeah, I'll be all over that. Yeah. And Ollie Ollie World. Ollie Ollie World looks good. Yeah. Um, was there any others? That's the, biggest, oh, the biggest news from E3, of course, my boy Kazuya is going to be in uh, Smash, Smash Bros. Bros. Yeah. It's all that matters. Yeah. Um, and there was like, there was another one from the, the company that deals Inside and Limbo. I released one. I don't think I sent you that one though. But I sent you one that looks very much like that. It's like a samurai one and stuff. I thought it was that. And I was like, oh no, it's not like Game Company. But looks cool though. Limbo's a great game. Yeah. You need to replay it. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there were any. They were like, obviously, like Starfield or whatever it's fucking What's called. This more? Just Dance 2022. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, to be. No, actually, Nintendo. Nintendo was like the show stealers. There's a new WarioWare, mate. There's a new Mario Party, mate. There's a new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Never played a Zelda game. I couldn't care less. There's a new Mario. Golf. Yeah, that's got shit reviews. Don't talk bad about Mario Golf. I love a golf game. Don't there is a new out. Metroid. There is a new Metroid. And it's gone back to the old style Metroid, which is good. Are you a Metroid fan? I like the old ones. I don't like the 3D weird ones. He played, played the OG Metroid. Yeah, it's good. It's good shit, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's all I want to talk about from E3. There's probably a big thing that I've just missed, but... Um, just on 2022, mate. That's all the kids are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the um, kids are talking. talking about games and such, Borderlands, the movie, has wrapped production. What has it done? Yeah, they sent out loads of, like, silhouette character posters. Um, obviously, you can't see them. But then they... On the wrapped picture, it was Claptrap. With the snapper thing, he just looks like he does in the game. Uh, yeah, we'll probably get a trailer for that soon, I'm guessing, because you know it's hyped. So, so hyped. Um, Donnie Yen joins the cast of John Wick, plus other people, but just, Donnie Yen's the biggest one in this. So. They, they don't, they don't matter when you've got your boy Donnie in it. Yeah, what do you think? Big boy time, isn't it? It's big boy time. Is he going to be the villain? No. Do you not think? Why? Because he's, he's got too much of a smooth, good guy face. He's played a villain before. Was it shit? No, it's called Blade 2. He's a vampire. Is it? I need to rewatch Blades. Mm. <laughs> um, why? Why don't you think he's going to be the villain? Come on. He hasn't versed an Asian yet, has he? <laughs> not a like, fully Asian villain, though. Ian McShane. <laughs> but yeah, he's going to be the villain. Ian McShane's going to be the villain. Ian McShane's dead. No, he's not. John Wick's a bad film. Which one? The third one. It's, it's terrible. not that it's bad. It's just that it's a bit peculiar. Mm. Is the term I would use. There's some wonderful action in it. Yeah. But certainly is out there. The second one's a bad. I would argue that it's not, but you know, the, the first one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just going to be kung fu, isn't it? Keanu Reeves could not even touch Donnie Yen. Nobody could touch Donnie Yen. Not even your boy. No, everyone's like Donnie Yen's the legit baddest man ever. Yeah, but Jackie Chan would have a girl. Of course he would, because he's fucking Jackie Chan. Keanu Reeves are just dying in. Like Donnie Yen is like trained in. Everything. Double digits martial arts. Like, <laughs> he's been a world champion of everything. His mum was like a fucking wushu master. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, he's just been... <laughs> There's stories of him. We were in a club once, and, like, he just beat up eight people outside this club who was starting on someone. It's just on his own. <laughs> Don't start on Donnie Yen, mate. Like, he's just a fucking badass. Oh, God, Donnie Yen's good. Yeah. We should watch some Donnie Yen films now. I don't like him. Fuck you. He's He freaks me out. Because he'll beat you Because he played that fat dragon man. Like, two. <laughs> yeah. Um, Craven. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Just, why? Why? He's not big. He's not hairy. He's just a cunt, isn't he? Played a shit Quicksilver. Yep. 
He was he, in Kick Ass. He was in Kick Ass, correct. And he was in Angus Fong's Unperfect Snogging. I've seen that film. That's a banging film, though. He's not even old. Craven's yeah, quite. His wife is. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> when she nonced him. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere Boy or whatever it's called. Mm. Proper nonced him. Yeah. <laughs> he's not, yeah, he's just, no, just why? But the chameleon's going to be the villain. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be shit. Oh, fucking hell. Who would you cast? It's Jamie Bell in it. <laughs> right, moving on. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka's getting a prequel. Timothy Chalamet, everyone's favourite pretentious cunt, is <laughs> going to play the Willy of a Wonka when he goes to the the island and kidnaps all the... Yeah, this is the film about the slave trade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Getting his umpa lumpers, <laughs> taking them from the families. <laughs> You're going to come and work in a factory, cunts. <laughs> Get staring my chocolate, you little orange pricks. They weren't even orange in the remake. They were just little Indian people. Yeah, they were all peculiar, weren't they? <laughs> it's, it's weird choice. Weird choice. This is a film we don't need. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. What about a Willy Wonka sequel? Um, there is a Willy Wonka sequel book, right? I don't know. It's called Charlie and the Glass Elevator or something. And it's about him um, beating up his... Slaves. I thought you were going to say granddad. No, his granddad died, mate, from um, the bubbles that he had, and then he were up in the thing. But um, the, the after effects of that is he could just kept going off, and then he went into space. Because mm. it works differently on elderly people. Because uh-huh. they're, they're internal. Yeah. I don't um, even fucking cunt wear any taking all money off government. Oh, I'm all ill and shit. I can't work. As soon as he gets to go in a factory, mate, look at some slaves. Mm. Oh, I can walk again. Give yeah. me that golden ticket. I'll fucking steal some of this formula where I can fly in there. What a gun. Scumbag. He is a scumbag. He is a scumbag. <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> um, Amazon buys MGM for 8.45 billion. Lots of money. Monies. Where's James Bond? Oh, yeah, hey, shit. Is that coming on Amazon Prime? Fuck knows. I don't think it'll ever get released at this point. All I'm saying is it's going to be shit. I mean, it can't be worse than the last one. It can. <laughs> no. Because it's got open. Rami Malik in. Yeah, but it doesn't have Sam Smith singing that god-awful song. It's Billie Eilish, though. Yeah, and she's a person mm. that's in the news sometimes. <laughs> she is. So... And everyone knows Rami Malik's just playing Doctor No, just announce it. The trailer's been out for five years. At the, but at this point, it's been an eternity, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But, yeah, so they've got access to all the MGM stuff now. Um, all that will be coming on Amazon Prime at some point. What, be... what does MGM even do? Uh, James Bond. Yeah. Um, Tom and Jerry cartoons from the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and other things. Nice. I think they do, they do Hannibal, right? That's old. They do a lot of shit. They don't do Hannibal. They did Hannibal. Let me. I'll just have a quick. You just talk amongst yourselves while I. What about? Um, top ten lesbian MGM films. <laughs> lesbians. Top ten lesbians. Yeah. Um, Lisa and Zoe. Who they? My ex's mom and partner. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, Megan, my friend. Nice. Um. And then I think the rest should just be burnt. Damn right. You just have to bear with me. Brie Larson. She proper, she full lesbian. Don't know. She is with that fucking haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Dyke. Um, she's totally well, going to bang. This little picture that I'm seeing here, James Bond. Yeah. Um, is that Creed? So maybe the Rocky films? Oh. Uh, that's Chris Rock in Fargo season four. Um, the Handmaid's Tale, and that's just an old-looking man. So I'm assuming they're getting him to just get a man. <laughs> that well. comes with the VIP yeah. package. <laughs> just, the, just the man. Yeah. So they do stuff and things. Mm. I'm, I need to. Right. Can we not move on? No, I'm. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> um, your ten least favorite lesbians. Go. Um, Brie Larson. Brie Larson. Uh. Sarah Paulson. 
Oof. Yeah. That's number one. She's worse than Brie Larson. Any particular reason? Cunt. Cunt as shit. I loved it when she got run over in that one film. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is a lesbian? Who else is indeed a lesbian? Is there many lesbians? Fuck knows, mate. Fuck knows. These are some MGM film series that we've got, right? The Broadway Melody. They were released between 1929 and 1940. The Fin Man, which was released between 1934 and 1947. Would you like me to tell you the ones that are just still going? Yeah, that would be great. James Bond. <laughs> yeah. The Pink Panther. Oh. Rocky. Hamburger. Poltergeist, though they haven't made one of them since 2015. Mm. Robocop, though they haven't made one of those since 2014. <laughs> Stargate, though that ended a long Ooh. time ago. <laughs> Legally Blonde, which apparently is still going. Legally Blonde's going? It says 21 to present. 2001 to present, rather. Not 21. <laughs> the year 21. <laughs> Barbershop. They also distribute many other things. Also... Wow. They have the uh, famous film series Dr. Gillespie, which I'm from 1942 to 1947. You know, Dr. Kildare. Kildare? Ended in 1942. Nice. Andy Hardy, that ended in 1958. <laughs> you yeah, know. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> um, Evil Dead Rise. They own Valley Girl, the remake. Oh, God. Logan Paul's in there. Hey, he fought Floyd Mayweather, didn't he? Some upcoming films they've got coming out. Candyman. Hey. The Adams Family 2. Mm. No Time to Die. Untitled Sesame Street musical. Legally Blonde Free. There is a third one coming out. Oh, shit. Creed Free. They're going to do the Tomb Raider film, if that ever gets finished and made. Hey. And other films. Untitled Richard Pryor biopic. Everyone's favourite film. Untitled Sammy Davis Jr. biopic. Okay, we're going down biopics, aren't we? One titled Pink Panther reboot. Biopic. Oh the Water Dancer, oh. which I assume is about. Yep, yeah, that's about. Yep, yeah. carry on. Evil Dead Rise. It's the next Evil Dead. It's known to me. What is it just? What was happening with it? The year was 1981. Sam Raimi has a vision. Sam Raimi's old, isn't he? Fuck hell. Carry on. That vision is the Evil Dead. Yeah. This is not directed by Sam Raimi, but he's producing it with Bruce Campbell. It's taking the action from the woods and the log cabins to the big city. Oh. It's about some lady women and their fight against... Is it a sequel to the reboot? It's not a reboot, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a ho- right. It's just going to be its own thing, right? So it's not a sequel to that reboot film? That's not a reboot. <laughs> it's not a sequel to the reboot. That's not a reboot. It's not a reboot. No. It's, they're all in the same universe. Yeah. Is Ash in that? Ash? No. What is it? There's a post credit scene. Right. He says groovy and that's it. Okay. I was the only... Per- I knew there was a post credit scene because I saw it in the cinema with my mum and we were the only people who stayed because I'm like, I'm getting them five seconds. <laughs> I'm I'm the real fan of Evil Dead. Look, they've all left. <laughs> I'm having it. And then he said groovy. Yeah. And then I got a tattoo. You did. I paid for that. You did. Because you lost. Yeah. Um, is it a sequel to that film, though? Or no? Nah? Right. Mm. They're all just there. There's no real sequels and stuff. Except right. from that one that is. Yeah. It's just a thing. It's just there. Right. It just okay. is. Okay. You are, what you have to understand is, it, is that it just what is. What I'm saying is, has it got any of the same characters in? No, it just is. Right, okay. That's all you need to know. It's just set in that universe. Yes, just is. Ash is going to be in it, aren't he? Mate, I would, I would enjoy that very much. I like Evil Dead. Yeah. And it just is, and it's not a reboot. Okay, is that it? I can carry on talking about Evil Dead and all the films and TV shows <laughs> right. if you would like. Um, Dead People's Section... This There's is a lot. to be sincere, this, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> School, <laughs> who are we starting with? School of Rock Drummer, killed. Yes, the the School of Rock drum, the film School of Rock, Jack Black. Yeah, you know, the drummer kids. The problematic film where a man assumes someone's identity to be around children. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
There's a little drummer guy in there pricking the film. Apparently a nice lad in real life. Hit my car oh, oh. while riding his bike. Shit. 33, I believe. Fucking hell, that makes you feel old, doesn't it? It's not old film, it's from 2003. That's insane. Yeah. That's like nearly 20 years old. Banging, banging film though. It's one, I love it. It's okay. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, it's a good film. Richard Linklater's best film. What? Wait, what did you say? I didn't hear you. It's Richard Linklater's best film. All right. I thought you said Richard rates it his best film. No, because his favourite film is the Back to the Future trilogy. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Bad films. (laughs) Um, Joe Lara. Uh, Joe Lara, shit actor from many straight-to-video releases from the sort of late 80s, Mm. early, early 90s. Um, Plane Crash, I believe was the cause of death for Joe Lara. Um, let me just check that up, though. Oh, it was in the Tarzan the Epic Adventures TV show as well. Yeah? Yes. Uh, I'll try and name a few films you might know them f- from being in. No, you're not going to know any of them. I'm not going to name any of them, because <laughs> I can 100% guarantee you don't know any of these director video films. Okay. It was in an episode of Baywatch, but certainly not in Seinfeld. Yes, it was a plane crash, can confirm. Um, he was in the plane crash with his wife, his son-in-law, and four members of the Laras Church. Of course, they were like church family, you see. They had like a big, big church. But oh, Jesus I think save them on that day. Um, cult. Um, uh, dead. Plane. Plane. Into the orphanage. <laughs> Ned Beatty. Ned Beatty, famous actor, Oscar-nominated actor. Mm. Um... A lot of uh, famous 70s films. Films? Mm. For example, Deliverance or The President's Men, which I've talked about before. Deliverance? On the uh, the thing. Yep, Network, Superman. He's in Toy Story 3. Is he the guy that gets butt fucked? They all get butt Wrong turns come out. I need to watch it. I'm glad that that's reminded you. <laughs> Oh, he played Lotto in Toy Story 3 as well. Oh, nice. Big villainous bastardo. He died from natural causes, aged 83. Joy Vogel sang. You what, sorry, me on Mucker? Joy Vogel sang. Joy Vogel sang. Joy Vogel sang. Dancer, you know. Mm. Most famous being the mum of podcast favourite, Nicolas Cage. Oh. Aged 85, um, no news as to what she passed away from, but um, we can only assume it's... Pig. Yeah, the, the pig got to her. <laughs> the pig finally got to her. Um, let me just see. After suffering from years of mental health issues. That's sad. Apparently a very good dancer, though, in a, in a day. Back in day. Yeah. Um, and then the last death. Dolphin husband. <laughs> yep. It's as crazy as it sounds. Take it away, Mr. Pineapple. Right. So, there's this woman, right? Mm. Called um, Charon, right? Mm. And she's just a one dolphin woman. She's not going to remarry me. <laughs> uh, the, the 30, it was a 39-year-old common dolphin, though. I don't know if that's a good age for a dolphin or, or what. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Um, yeah, Sh- Sharon says it was clear right away that she felt an instant bond with Cindy, despite the fact that he was 39. Um, they were wed in a lavish ceremony. Um, God, she's a millionaire with millionaire Sharon. <laughs> That's in a white dress with pink flowers in her hair. But it all came to a sudden and dramatic end as Cindy the dolphin sadly died once. Slowly Jeez. poisoned by Sharon because she wants her millions to be belly. Right. Sharon, who was aged 26 at the time, mm. <laughs> marrying Cindy, said that they dated for a while, um, with the clothes in pause from band manager making countless expensive trips, visiting his relatives here, half a male heartthrob. <laughs> She's not all right, is she? That's what money does to your brain, people. Eventually, they wed at Dolphin Reef in the Israeli port of Eilat, <laughs> 15 years later, and the union was sealed with a chest. A chaste kiss as Sharon whispered, I loved you. And Cindy presumably clicked in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dolphin. 
Poor dolphin. But yeah, she's a, she's a one dolphin woman and she's never going to marry again. Do you think they're banged? I, I'm fairly certain someone's blowhole was <laughs> huge. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, talking about animals, well, that's a dead deaf people, dead people section done. Um, giant tortoise from Galapagos extinct for more century ago. That's my note on that. <laughs> We like big animals on this podcast, and um, any big animal news we can get our hands on, we do it. Yes, big animals are the tits. But yes, a giant tortoise that was found in the Galapagos, um, it was a species that was considered extinct centuries ago, so it's nice that they've, this is good, this is good news. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the Galapagos National Park, uh, they're preparing an expedition to see if they can find any more, you know, for conservation efforts etc or to kill them and sell the shells and stuff oh boy maybe they're shady who knows who knows Lovely. dirty bastards so yeah that's just some nice news we like big animals big animals um joker 2 is written being written being wrote being writered yep there's gonna be a joker 2 hey ho harrison ford has been injured on the set of Indiana Jones 5. Yeah, he's like done his shoulder in or somewhere. How many years is he going to be out for? He survived a plane crash, didn't he? Back in the day. Yeah, I believe so. Do you want to know who didn't survive a plane crash? I already know. Who? That guy. Joe Lara and his Christian <laughs> brethren. Yeah. They were not saved by the Lord Almighty. No, it was That's not. That's for sure. That's for sure. Lord of the Rings anime series has been announced called Lord of the Rings The War of the Rowerin Rower R-O-H that was weird Ring of Honor yeah <laughs> I-R-R-I-M yeah Rowerin Rotherham. yep Lord of the Rings Rotherham. yeah so yeah that's cool I, I think being to Rotherham is a lot like Middle Earth <laughs> it is isn't it <laughs> proper <laughs> shit all yeah yeah but if you're I'll- an aunt though yeah, I went to college there. Did you get nonced? My oh, cool. tutor was actually a nonce. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he got fired and now he works with Gay Martin. Noncing? No, at Virgin Media. But Martin gets paid more than him. And it used to be his tutor as well. So that's a funny full circle, isn't it? Yeah, so that's a fun story, isn't it? <laughs> Don't know how much of that I'll cut, but... <laughs> Batman! Yeah? Zack Snyder has been fucked on Twitter, hasn't he? Posting a picture of Batman mopping out Catwoman. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What's the world come to, mate? And Warner Brothers has been like, boom, copyright strike. You silly cunt. Batman would never lick out a lady woman because it's not what heroes do. Oh, he would. That's what DC's told everyone. It's not I'm what heroes... I'm swear he fucks in, like, most of the films. He's he's a frustrated boy. He's he got to let his load. He drops down on a woman. That's <laughs> All what right. heroes do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Just that. Uh. Yeah, this is um, all stemming from um, the Harley Quinn TV show was meant to feature yeah. um, seeing a Batman going down on Catwoman. Mm-hmm. But DC were like, no, no, no. Not on our watch. It's all right to show dead shot fucking Harley Quinn. It's all just, you know, and Batman's penis in a comic. It's not what heroes do, mate. Full frontal Batman nudity in a comic's all right, but him just licking some pussy is not. It's not what heroes do. It's not what heroes do. That is the DC tagline. Yeah. It's not what heroes do. Talking about DC, though. It's Big Pineapple time. That's right. I've got here Big Pineapple Fast and Furious 9. But we're not doing that. Because <laughs> that film's long. And um, it was we, late. We, we, we were playing FIFA too much. <laughs> we played a lot of FIFA. All day. While watching football. I don't know what's happened to me, mate. You're a proper fucking... <laughs> Schmeichel, lad, how are you? you do love Schmeichel. Schmeichel, mate. He's a boy. Um... But yeah, the Big Pineapple has changed to the Blu-ray that I had <laughs> at the side of me at one o'clock in the morning, which is Batman, The Long Halloween Part 1. 
the animated film that we reviewed the trailer for, I'm pretty sure. Did we? Hmm. Cool. Do you want to hear stats, mate? Oh, yeah, by the way, you didn't write notes on this. I've only got about five notes. It's going to be a small big pineapple. Well, it's, the big pineapple will... We'll just have a general discussion about crap as well. We'll lengthen yeah. it out a little bit. Um, do you want to hear stats? I always want to hear stats, mate. I'm a big fan. That is a big score. Is it, Eight is out, per, I was going to say, has it got perfect scores? <laughs> Eight out of ten on ING. But, you know, ING. 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a big score. Mm, I think that's the first 100% we've, we've had. had. Um, it came out sometime. 22nd of June. Direct Chris Palmer. Palmer Ham. Mm. <laughs> Adapted from Batman The Long Halloween. Oh, you don't say. The 13 part comic series that is well loved by the fans and such. And it's what apparently the live action film's going to be based on as well. Um, yeah. Your boy Jensen Ackles. Is it Ackles? I think so. Is voicing Batman. Josh Dumaoy. Do Hamill is doing Harvey Dent in the Bum Bum. It's got Naya Rivera, her last role, as Catwoman. Uh, Jack Quaid from The Boys is playing Alberto Falcone. Troy Baker is Joker. David Dashmash is playing Calendar Man. And that's all I'm going to say because there's a lot of voices. Um, I wondered why you were just you just kept going on and on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't watched. An animated film, a Batman animated film in quite some time. I think the last one I watched was uh, Batman Ninja, which is interesting. Uh, let's get my notes up. Pros. I like the art style. This is very pretty. I'm just going to piggyback on your... Thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a general discussion. Um, yeah, the art style was very nice. Um, it reminded me of Invincible. Um, and it reminded you of some weird stuff. The animated films of Sylvain Chaumet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the thick black lines reminded me of Kim Possible. <laughs> but yeah, uh, very. it's a nice look. Like the animated films always capture the look and feel of Gotham. Not just, it's New York, but we're calling it Gotham. Uh, Alfred. Because Alfred's just the best Batman character, isn't he? Let's be honest. Yeah. Um, uh, mine are just kind of rinsing the live-action films, you know. Wow. Okay. Saying they never get the characters right. Everyone loves Christopher Nolan's depiction. Well, not everyone, but the most majority of people mm. go to that. Um, it's a very realistic take, you know. I'm not a massive fan. I prefer Ben Affleck to Christine Bale. Joker, they've never really got him right. But we'll get on to that. Um, but yeah, I just, whenever I watch one of these animated films or play one of the games, I'm like, God damn, just copy it. <laughs> I don't care, just copy it. Stop trying to make your own take on it. Just make it Batman. Um, some guy gets killed, doesn't he? That Anthony guy. This is, we should say, the plot of this is, well, the part one plot is more about the crime families, the Falcones and the Maronis and the Pasta and the Harvey Dents. And it's about them trying to track down this killer who's been going around popping off mob people with a dummy. No, not a dummy, a teat, a breastfeeding teat gun silencer thing. And he's called Holiday. Um... So yeah, that's what it's about, and then Harvey Dent's like in the mix, being all lawyery and shit, because it's before he's Two-Face, but we'll get on to the Two-Face shit. <laughs> but yeah, this, uh, this Anthony guy, who's part of the Falcone family, is like, you already look weak, Falcone. And he's like, fucking, you want me? When his bodyguard chucks him down some stairs, doesn't he? he goes, I enjoyed that. It was good, wasn't it? And you like the shot of when it like... Oh, it were lovely. From... It were lovely, yeah. Yeah. All out. Yeah, lovely stuff. <laughs> um, I liked the scene where Batman was chasing Catwoman. Stylistic, was not it? Yeah. I liked especially like the sound. Like it didn't have like any background music or anything. It was just 
for some of them running through these snowy rooftops and stuff out like this is cool. And Catwoman. I've had her rub my knees. <laughs> no, but I like a I like a design in it. Mm. It's it's the original with the um weird oval bit on her head where her eyes are. But the proper skin tight. She's sexualized. She's a cat. Cats are sexy. Let's all be like Seaton and want to fuck animals. Some but big yeah. rules about Satan. Never guess who he's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get on to that. <laughs> but yeah, I like the Catwoman design. Um, I like the bit where Batman chases the Asian people into the Chinatown bit and then he throws his batarang in that guy's leg and then he punches a fucking leg hole. I'm like, yeah, yeah. brutal, brutal Batman. His best Batman. It's a 15 and over this film, by the way, for anyone wondering. It is. Um, Solomon Grundy's in this film. He's just like being cute in the sewer. Batman's like taking care of him and that. It's cute. There's some nice uh, cleavage from Selena Kyle. Mm, I enjoyed that. Whoa. Bit of blue foot dads, you know. Yeah. This, because um, it goes through the, the holidays, doesn't it? It goes from Halloween to thanksgiving to christmas to new year um another thanksgiving you know everyone's having the food then batman takes some food to solomon grundy in the sewer and i find it very cute you did uh, mention that yeah um and then obviously joker comes into it because you can't have a batman film without joker um because joker knows who the no he's trying to hunt down the holiday guy and he um not really sure why. <laughs> because he says that he can be the only psychotic man, even though there's a oh, bunch yeah. of them just yeah. littering Gotham. Um, I've put here, just just make Joker a cunt in the live-action films and make him do stupid, flamboyant shit. Instead of trying to make him cool and making a weird sex symbol and, <laughs> you know, making him too creepy to the point that he's just unlikable. I don't know, they've just never... They've always gone, let's try and make our own Joker instead of going, let's try and make Joker on screen. They've always gone, we've got to, we've got to make him some weird army PTSD guy or we've got to make him a gangster or they've got to make him just a failed comedian, which kind of is what he is in one of them. But, you know, they just copied that fucking Taxi Driver and that other Robert De Niro film. In the comedy. Mm. But yeah, he's... In this, he's just, he's just the, the comic book Joker, you know. He's got a fucking plane with laughing gas and shit, and it's just, it's just sh- stupid shit. And then, skipping to the end, <laughs> I ain't got many notes, so I was just enjoying it, to be honest. It's just one of them. Um, the Jack Quaid's character, the Antonio, whatever he is, Falconio, Blomlio, um, he plays like, the side Falcone guy who gets sent son. off to son, right? Oh yeah, he's Falcone's son who got sent over to England to Oxford to study and came back. And he's like, "I'm the only one who knows how to run a proper business." And then Falcone's like, "You're a little bitch, mate. You can't kill anyone, cunt." And then he gets shredded by a fucking boat thing, doesn't he? Not yeah, he like, gets, uh, gets off with a bunch of pop, 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 pop. bullets. Plops off the, the yachty, boaty, yeah. shippy thing. Because this is Batman in his early years. Um, it's him realising he needs to actually be a detective. He can't just go around beating people up. He picked his... him up and he punched his leg. Yeah. This is his first, like, jump into being a detective, really. Because he's really shit at it. Because it's obvious who the holiday killer is. I mean, he gets told who it is, like, five times. And he's like, nah. It's not him. Can't be him. And then he thinks it's Falcon's son. And then Falcon's son's like, but I'm a little nerdy bitch. And he's like, oh, shit. And he gets shot. And he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's probably not him then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all my pros. Do you want to add anything before we get into it? Um, the- yeah, they are. They are. It was really lovely to look at uh, this film. It was really, it was, it was nice. It was. It's nice to look at. Um, I liked the action. I thought it was really neat. Mm. 
neat action. Like the interplay between the father and the son. Yeah. That was quite nice. Very tense. You didn't, you didn't like it when he crushed that pepper, though, did you? No, I was pissed off, of course. He needs to get another pepper now. Yeah. His meal's going to be incomplete. Yep. Bastard. Just be right off that did. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, I liked the Joker. I thought he had some really funny lines. Um, it was, yeah, it was a good Joker. It's just Joker, isn't it? It's good. I'd say I'm not the biggest Joker fan. No, no. I thought you were going to hate it, to be honest. Hate what? Joker. Oh. Because I know you don't like him. It's not that but I don't like him. He's overused. Yeah. And ruined now. I have, I have much more preferred um, Batman villains. Penguin. I'm a big Penguin fan and I love Scarecrow. Mm. They're my two boys, you know. I mean, we do get a little little cameo in it. Yeah, they do. They do. In Arkham. But um, I liked the gr- the Grundy stuff. I really enjoyed. Cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a great. He's a great character, though. Yeah. Um, that turkey looked nice. Yeah. Which one? Or the stole, stole, yeah. Alfred's or Jim Gordon's in the cellophane. Not the. Not the. No. Uh, and they were else? very um, heavy, didn't they? And the uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, but no, I thought it was really good. I like the interplay between most of the characters, really. Mm. Um, Calendar said, Man's cool as well. Yeah, Calendar Man's cool. Um, I could I could have carried on watching this for a lot longer. Yeah, but it didn't. It, Eighty-five minutes long, and it just seemed to like fly by. Yeah, it does. You know. And I don't know if that's because I wrapped up on cheese and coffee. <laughs> but... Maybe. I did. I looked at my phone and it was like quarter three. And I'm like, oh, it's going to end in like five minutes. Yeah. Um, so it, was, it was snappy, you know. I like, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Most, I enjoyed most of the voice acting. Um, yeah. it's, it's just what the live action films are missing. They've never <clears throat> done his detective side or... Yeah. Anything like that? It's just being him, just fucking, fucking people up in it. I like the, uh, I like the sexual chemistry between Batman and Catwoman. Yeah, it's good. Didn't, didn't need it. Didn't look her out though, did he? He didn't. No, he didn't. No. He did pull her close, and I was like, oh, it's noshing off time. But no, didn't get any noshing off, did we? Um, and you know, sadly, Naya Rivera's last uh, acting role before she, you know, tragically passed away, but. Some good role to bow out on, you know. Yeah, definitely. You know, really good Catwoman. I mean, the the animated films do get very high praise mm. compared to the, <laughs> the other shit, because um, it's hard. It's hard to fuck up an animated film where you got kind of like full range on anything. You know? but, You've got the storyboards essentially already there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, but should we get on to cons? Yes. As we said, it's going to be a short, big pineapple, all right? Cons. Cons. Right, so it's Halloween, and good old billionaire Bruce Wayne, he's only giving out chunky bars, isn't he? Alfred's there with a big bowl of chunky bars. They've got any razor blades in them, mate. You're candy man. I'd be well pissed off if I watched that 15-minute walk up to his fucking mansion, front gates, yeah. just to get that. It's, a, it's a big manor house, isn't it? Yeah. For one person. Excessive is what I'd describe it as. Yeah. Cuntish. Yeah. Get better fucking treats for the kids, you bastard. Yeah, fucking chunky bars. We're not even branded. Bastard's been down to Aldi, have you? It's gone, that's what he is. Been. It's <laughs> gone. Um, right, let's talk about Two-Face. There's two characters in this that didn't hit um, the marks for me. And that's Two-Face and Commissioner Gordon. Because they make some weird choices, don't they? I mean, Two-Face don't make any weird choices. He's just Harvey Dent and he's a cunt. But fucking, fucking 50-50 fucking stuff in this fucking film. It's on the nose, man. Like, Mm. (laughs) it's not subtle. It's not subtle at all. Yeah. Um, For anyone who doesn't know Two-Face, of course, would you like to describe his general character? Harvey Dent, lawyer, wants justice for the fucking evil mob people in Gotham. And then, in every kind of storyline, either someone he loves dies or he gets 
horribly scarred in an explosion <laughs> of some sort. And then he's like, justice is fucking bullshit, isn't it? I'm going to go around with a gun and shoot people, cunt. And you're going to get a 50-50 chance of not living or living with a coin flip. I'm Two-Face. He's like the shittest villain, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, what if, like... Uh, and every line of dialogue in this film, <laughs> from him or towards him or about him, is about chance and coins and... Yeah, 50-50, 50-50 flip 50s. of a coin. <laughs> it's black or white. It's just two heads are better than one. Shut up! <laughs> we get it. This character's been around for God knows how many years. We we know who Harvey Dent is. Please. But yeah. Um, yeah, he's, he's... He's one of the weaker characters, villains in Batman. Because he's just he's just a guy with a burnt face, isn't he? Who's got a gun? Just hit him in the face. That's why I like the games where Two Face is always a joke villain who you just beat in one punch. You just have to get near him. It's cool. Um, but yeah, the Two Face stuff is the Harvey Dent stuff's good because it shows him being a cunt, not him being this really amazing lawyer. He's just a cunt trying to do right by his family somehow. I mean, he just keeps mentioning her being pregnant and she's like, I can't have kids, cunt! <laughs> the line, a billion and five. Yeah. Didn't like that. Oh, didn't, didn't like, like it. Oh. No. Oh, no. Catwoman, mate. Just women, innit? Just women. 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 Um, and then <laughs> Commissioner Gordon, right? He just, he just didn't seem like Jim Gordon, because Jim Gordon's like the only good guy <laughs> like straight good guy in the Batman universe I mean he does have his his moments but he never gives a a guy who's just escaped from hospital who's just witnessed his house blowing up who's pissed off at the crime family of Gotham he never just gives them a gun and be like yeah have fun mate <laughs> go shoot shit up it is, I was like, what is happening? What's he doing? Yeah. That is not Jim Gordon. Yeah. It yeah. was yeah. weird. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it. He was like, make sure you defend yourself. Here's my police issue gun. That I need, but there you go. <laughs> so I can just get another one. Uh, while he's standing outside the Falcone Tower, whatever it is. Just, just, just go murder people, mate. It's all right. Have a laugh. They blew your house up. I mean, you got out of hospital like day after, so nothing really happened. But it's just crazy. Yeah. And then Catwoman shouts Bruce at Batman in front of people like a dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. She's like Bruce. Oh shit. <laughs> but then the guy does get shot a lot and then shredded, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, they're, they're my cons. Not a lot. Just a few character beats that were just questionable what about you um the the two-faced stuff um which i've mentioned i'll piggyback on yours then um yeah just a bit too mm. learn it yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> um the um harvey dent and jim gordon overworking stuff was very much similar to that um and a bit too much to have two <laughs> major two, characters in yeah. the film Bit, bit. Um, uh, I didn't like Jensen's voicing of Batman. It seemed very false, very fake. Yeah. Um, too forced. Yeah. I enjoy that. Like even his Bruce Wayne was still a bit of the like deep. Yeah, I'm just, I just, I, it weren't for me that. Um, no, I didn't like it either. It kind of, it felt like you were trying to copy another in, like. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Was. Yeah. Um, very much like Troy Baker, but Troy Baker's a trained voice actor who got hired to copy Mark Hamill's voice for the games. Yeah. So, yeah, but he did it. And Jason Jensen, why do I keep calling him Jason? It's just easier, isn't it? <laughs> Jensen, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like it particularly. Yeah, um, I don't like the fact it's in two as well. I really felt that it was just you getting to watch the rest of it. The momentum yeah. was there. It was, you know, I was invested. As I said, I could have happily watched another 90 minutes of this. Yeah. Like, um, 
it because it felt quite abrupt where it cut cut off and a ice cream van. <laughs> yeah, it, it cut off very abrupt where it cut off and that didn't sit right by me. Just money grabbing, fucking cunts. Yeah. yeah, we can. Yeah, we can get we can get two ten pounds out of these the people. Blue ray yeah. this. Yeah, but. Other than that, I don't have too many major cons, just some of the, as you said, the character stuff, um, a few bits of dialogue that made me think, why? Mm. And, you know, the voice and the abruptness. Yeah. And the no licking out of... Um, Cat woman. The pussy, yeah, the pussy yeah. woman. Uh, yeah, I mean, part two is coming out next month, isn't it? Yeah, the end of July, yes. Yeah. Seen the case for it? No. It's got Skako on it. And proper Two-Face. Because he done not turn into Two-Face in this. Which I thought it was. Cause, Straight you know, up, they would have both been dead from that explosion. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. At least her. Because she was closer. Yeah, that's a con for me. They would have been dead. Yeah. Because explosions are big. Mm. Like, to hurt people. Like a big house. Like all of your house exploding. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbours would probably be dead. They didn't like. They would have at least been hit by shrapnel, at least. Yeah. Like, but now you just. Oh, I've got a bit of a bruise on my face. Yeah, it's weird that they didn't take that opportunity to make him into Two Face. Got a second film to come out, haven't they, mate? Got to, <laughs> got to pan it out, haven't they? Um, but yeah, uh, summaries. I didn't write one, but somebody's blown a whistle now. I know. I can hear, mate. They can hear. It's great. Um, <laughs> summary. Is fuck me. It's <laughs> an ice cream van movie. <laughs> this is staying in. Fuck it. Summary is Batman is good when they want it to be. That's it. Because didn't write one, did I? No. What's yours? Um, I have not seen many of the Batman animated films, as you know. Hmm. So, I would rank this as my favourite Batman animated film. <laughs> um, this is probably my favourite portrayal of the Joker in film. Yeah. I would I would go as far to say that. Mm. Because I've not seen any of the previous Batman yeah. animated films. But I have seen all the shit live action ones and my boy Jack Nicholson. So you fave. I'm a big fan. I, I, like, I like the Tim Burton films. Um, you haven't seen Joaquin though, have you? Yeah, that's not real though, is it? All right. Well, it's called Sazy Film, isn't it? Yeah, it is to be fair. I've already seen it. I've seen <laughs> both. I've seen both the Scorsese films. <laughs> Don't need to watch it again, do I? Um, I, I really, I really liked it. Yeah, there was some stuff that I'd re- I didn't enjoy about it, but as I said, it, it it just fucking breezed by, and I would have happily stayed and watched more. I, I'm, yeah, I liked it. I might even buy it one day. Fucking hell. I liked it, yeah. yeah. You need to watch some more. Is there any that's just got Penguin and Scarecrow in? I'm sure there is. Not all of them have got as many characters as this in. There were a few. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen a lot of them, you know. It's not my favourite, but it is It is good. Well, I've never... In your top seven? Oh, Jesus. Like a middle, like four or three. What's above it then? That's a fucking cop car now. That That's turned off quick. I can't remember the name of them all, to be honest. Well, that's not good enough, is it? No. I'm here providing entertainment outside with ice cream vans. <laughs> some kids fucking cunt going up and down on his goddamn cuntmobile. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Mask of Phantom, Red Hood, and one I can't remember the name of. Not Batman Ninja, because that's... Uh, Batman right. The Erotic Adventures. Year Where One's... It's... Year it's One's that... overrated. Have you read Year One the comic? No, but I've watched the animated film. It's, where it's, he... it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. It's a it's an all right read. Not kicks a tree down, mate. Yeah, but who's not done that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ratings. I want to give it five point five out of seven. That's what I've gave it. Nice, because there was there was things wrong. It, you know. it might go up. It probably would have been higher. Had it been the full film? Yeah. We'll have to see with part two. They're not separate, are they? They're just dickheads wanting more money. 
That's a bit cotton. Obvious, yeah. There's <laughs> obvious flaws. There is obvious flaws with it, but mm. it's really good. It's really good. The everything else. Yeah. That I can see past those obvious flaws, you know. And uh, I mean, if you look at the story beats, it kind of seems a bit slow paced. It's episodic, it. isn't it? Like, yeah, this is Halloween. This is the one after Halloween. Hey, it's Christmas now. Mm. So obviously, it's going to go back to Halloween. Easter is going to be a fun one. Valentine's Day, you know, we've got that. Mm. Uh, what, Fourth of July, Quinn's going to be. President's Day, Columbus Day. <laughs> but yeah, Black short Friday. big time, Paul. But you say Black Pride Day. Black Friday, not Black oh. Pride Day. <laughs> um, yeah. Imagine. It was all right. No, it was good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't all right. It was good. I'd recommend, I'd re- I would highly recommend this film to, to anyone. If you're a fan of animation, if you're a fan of just Batman. Batman. If you're fed up of shit live action comic book films, mm-hmm. give give some of these a go. Have you got any of the others? Somewhere. I'll have to try and borrow them off you someday. Give them a view with my eyes. Goggles. No. Eyes. Oh, eyes. Eyes. Don't know what eyes are. Wrestling news. Been a bunch of releases, haven't they? Yeah, like lots. Tyler Breeze has gone. And Dango's gone. And that writer lady. Don't know who else. Bobby Ashley. <laughs> Bobby Lashley ain't gone. But... No, but she called him Bobby Ashley. Bobby Ashley. Yeah. Fucking creative team that's writing all these storylines. Don't even know the names of other wrestlers. Um, but prior, these ones all got released this week, we should say. But prior to that, um, in the past month, we've had many other releases. Have we Have we not as well? Big Braun got Braun. Oh, yeah. Shit. shit. We haven't talked about that yet, have we? Yeah. Yeah. Proper Braun. Yeah, um, Braun's gone. Uh, Andrade. Do we talk about Andrade? Black. Alistair Black, yeah. I think Andrade went while we were still recording back in right. a month or two ago. But he's in AW now. He is, yeah. He's um, well, well, got... uh, yeah, no, yeah. Ryan, yeah. Yeah. Ruby Yeah, Ruby Riot. Yeah. It's a load of great talent. Um, mm. But still got Nia Jax. And Roman Reigns and Bobby Ashley. Bobby Ashley makes so good in the, the, the Kurt business. Edge is back. Sora's push is no more. Yep. God, I've... I've, I've, I've Samoa Joe resurfaced. Anyway. Samoa Joe's gone to NXT. They re-signed him like two weeks after. Fucking hell. They've been trying to re-sign Alistair Black. Yeah, I heard. But he's just like... Nah, yeah, fam. I'm not having none of that. Good. Fucking hell. Um, I'm making the choice here and now. You don't know this, but I'm not going to do wrestling news for a few weeks. I'm all. I'm wrestling out. I'll do if there's anything big. If anyone passes away, you know, mm. I will still talk about them. But I'm burnt out wrestling wise. Yeah, it's shit in it. Yeah, I've I've been watching a lot of the classic stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, that's better. But I can't mm. talk about that on a weekly basis, can I? Because it's from twenty plus years ago. Yeah, which is a shame because it was something that's a unique bit in our podcast, I guess, because we do all of it, like the mainstream media news, don't we? And you know, wrestling was just like a little tidbit on the end. I, but... I love a, I love AEW, but mm. I'm just burnt, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt out on it. <laughs> like, get a get a couple of weeks, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think we need the fans back, don't they? Yeah, just it's just been. Dreadful. Um, but they had a. We have got a wrestling death for this week, haven't we? Melissa Co Co Coats. Coats. I think it's Coats. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes, she was fifty years old. Um, most famous uh, in this day and age for playing um, what she called like the genie or something. Or she was supposed manager uh. recently. Uh, but yeah, she was also a wrestler. She was in OVW back in the day. She did stuff in TNA and stuff, you know. Um, but she had complications last year. Something ar- arose, and she had to have uh, part of one of her legs chopped off. Jesus, be- below the knee. Uh, I can only assume that her death is related to that issue. Um, 
but yes, she was uh, 50 years old. A lot of wrestlers um, went out of the way to post about her on Twitter and all the socials saying how much she actually influenced people. And uh, Bailey wrestled her very first match against her, for example. Nice. Way back when. Um, but yeah, um, sad times. Yeah. Super Genie. That's her name. Super Genie. Nice yeah. name. And that's wrestling news. Big tits, she had. Big tits. Yeah. Big yeah. jokes. Just to bring it back down to our level. <laughs> <laughs> um, awareness. I was going to talk about the live stream, weren't we? I mean, we've already done it, but I guess we can give some details on maybe some games we might be playing. We've got a, we've got a, a bit of a, a short list at the moment. Yeah, I mean, most of them are the regular games that get streamed on there, aren't they? The uh, Rocket Leagues and the uh, other games. <laughs> Yeah, the, but there's a few new ones that have been thrown about. Uh, there's Paladins and Smite, yeah. uh, which are free-to-play games. I think they've been suggested because you can have quite a big um, party, party size on there. Yeah. So, um, But yeah, I downloaded those the other day. I've not had a chance to uh, play any of them yet. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's other things. I know you want to do some, possibly some Mortal Kombat or some Resi yeah. um, with the, the brothers. Yeah, I know. Because obviously, me and, me and my brother Liam was uh, we did Resident Evil One and Resident Evil Eight. Uh, there's a few missing, isn't there? <laughs> so in between those, are I... <laughs> so yeah, we know um, we've played Resident Evil Two Remake quite a bit, so we should be able to get through that in four or five hours. I mean, if we wanted to do it all in that live stream, it'd take up a decent chunk because it's twenty four hours. We've got a lot of time to cover. And, you know, people are going to need to swap in and out um, of that live stream. Yeah, there's going to be food breaks and maybe have a, a cheeky nap. Yeah. Breaks. But I've got no qualms falling asleep just in a live stream anyway, mate. Yeah, you can so, fall asleep in the Resi 2 one. Just snow I've your got, head off. <laughs> I've got precedent <laughs> in that. Um, <laughs> but now um, the analyst has set up uh, the donation link already. Um which I probably won't post it till the live stream anyway, but um, yeah, British Heart Foundation through, what's he, uh, what's he just, doing? Through? Just giving, I believe. Just giving, yeah. Yeah. Um, in remembrance of Judith. Uh, also, I'd just like to say, get yourself checked out at the doctors regularly, because she never did. <laughs> um, and it was one of one of the main things that she she should have it's just, it's horrible saying it's weird saying she should have done or whatever because you can't you can't change anything but you know she would never want to go to the doctors um and yeah you should <laughs> should get yourself checked out more and you know don't put things off because you think it's something little because it might be something massive and life changing and you know I've had a massive learning curve in this past month and. Just need to be more smart. Like you said, I know it's a weird time with COVID and everything. You can't really get doctor's appointments or anything like that, or you'll be on a waiting list for God knows how long. But, you know, if you really, really feel like something's different and weird, then you need to just storm A&E. Fuck them. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I just I just want to say that. Um, and to take the tech, just, just tail on that, um, even with like the Christian Eriksen stuff that happened recently, um, yeah, no matter what age uh, you are, only twenty nine, you know, um, it's madness. Yeah, gonna say watching that was not not fun. <laughs> um, and about I think it mad. was it wasn't that long ago, were it? Um, so, so just over two weeks ago now. Yeah, and it was just just flashbacks. Really, it's weird, weird stuff. Um, but yeah, hi. <laughs> Anything else we want to add on the awareness? Yes. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, we, I, we, all of us will just be posting the shit out of um, the live stream, just advertising the fuck out of it. Mm. Um, so you better all fucking <laughs> donate, or I'll come round to your houses and I'll click the donate button, Miss N. <laughs> you cunts. And then ask them politely for card details and how much. They would like to donate. I won't ask politely. I just kick them in shins until they donate. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like we should make it a yearly thing. That'd be nice. Uh, yeah, and we've got quite a lot of few people who want to be involved in it as well. So it's good, good stuff. Is that, is that everything? We've got some shout outs. Have we got shout outs? I will just like to shout out um, Grandad Dick and his partner Emily, um, who's also had a, a passing recently. It's not been a great time for the Wonder Hour family. No. <laughs> um, no. So just send our, send our love to, to those two. Indeed. Well, um, Aye, it's been a shit time. Yeah. Got a band together though, aren't we? Yes. Um, but on to, yeah. on to brighter things. We've got a few members in the Hall of Fame of the Wonder Hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, are we on five? Five or six, I think, in there now? I think so. It's a shame we've got no one else to add today. Because someone ruined it! <laughs> <laughs> No, the 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 fifth. I think it's. I think she'll be the fifth member. I think maybe, maybe. <laughs> but someone tell us. We yeah. don't listen to our own podcasts. <laughs> but Mama Pony, you know. Nice. Of course, inducted into the Wonder Hour Hall of Fame. Thank you. Absolute lass. Indeed. Hi. It's good. Good to get back to podcasting and stuff. Um, Have you heard who's seen Spocky? Oh shit! I, I wasn't even going to say it. You know, I was just going to end the episode. Come to that point, haven't we? Fuck you, Seaton. Little ginger scrotum bastard. Fuck. Fucking a smoothie, isn't it? Proper. Proper and deep in that smoothie <laughs> hole. Like, Dirty bastard. Deep. He's winning fucking fancy shit. He's top at league, isn't he? Yeah. I'm not doing well, you know. Are you not? Is football on now? <laughs> I think it's on today. I'm not sure what time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing well. I didn't research enough. I'm doing surprisingly all right. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Is that the end of the episode? I believe. It may well be. Mm. Right. Stay fresh, guys. Stay fresh. Bye.